Dinner's not on time. Your goose is cooked, kitty. A celebratory dinner in honor of the Abe Space Launch. Roasted turkey, stuffing, mashed potatoes, and a slice of apple pie. And it's just for you two, Jerry and Napoleon. All in one convenient freeze-dried pouch. Enjoy, boys. The aluminum pouch looks... Hey, what you doing? Shooting lasers into space? <laughs> Hey, you got 75 cents I can borrow? It's for a top secret experiment. <laughs> Best candy bar ever. <gasps> Well, at least Smokey is here now. We don't want your food to get cold. Go ahead and eat, dear. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ah, you do love me. You ever wonder how they get all that cheese in every can? It's magic, Rick. And no snacking, you'll ruin dinner. But it's your mom's cooking. It's already ruined. To get the info they needed, it was going to cost them some cheddar. I might know a dog named Roxy. Then again, I might not. She's about yay tall, and when she looks at you, the whole world sparkles. A little birdie told me she stole the cursed ruby of the missing tribe tonight. You mean the cursed stone of the wrong way pirate? Who's getting paid for dirt here? You or me? Whatever it is, she's got it. And I might know where she lives. Working out. You can tell, right? Take a long look. I'm a veritable feast for the eyes. Been watching what I eat, too. What about for this angle? Okay, enough. Give me that. I can't let you do this. This cheesy bit of cheddar goodness is a ticking time bomb packed with delicious saturated fat and love handle producing calories. But don't be ashamed. A little self control. You, too, can have this body. Uh-uh. It's not time for cake, little guy. Your party guests haven't even arrived yet. Uh, of course, you are the birthday boy. I guess one little taste won't hurt nobody. <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> oh, how Mummy loved birthdays, especially the cake. Don't forget the spiders, dear Thomas. They were Mummy's favorite. And the birthday candles, lovey. That doesn't look like all the candles. 214, Thomas. That's how old a mother would have been today. And one for bad luck. Brilliant work, Thomas. Don't touch that book! It was mother's, and these were her boots. And this her wand. Oh, how we miss Mummy, dearest. Sure, she was difficult and a wee bit hateful. 
And her temper was frightful. But what we wouldn't trade to have another second with our dear grumpy mummy. We should blow out the candles, BG. Yes, we should. You ain't a bad kitty for wanting to eat that boyd. It's what we cats do! I'm gonna get you a treat, get you a treat, get you a treat. I think you're gonna like this, my brave boy.